Hey guys, welcome back to the Bargain District with me, Monique, today, and I am going to attempt to um, vlog for the first time. So, I was using a GoPro and I didn't realize that the voice quality is very low, so I, that's why I decided to use this um, audio instead. So, this day we're just walking to Chelsea. It was like I think around 10 30, 11 a.m. in the morning. As you see, I had no makeup on and my hair was in a bun and I had no hair on the forehead and I look super round. But anyway, it's supposed to be real, isn't it? So yeah, we were just walking down from our apartment to Chelsea because we were considering moving to chelsea so we want to check out the area and see if you know everything is available around um the few blocks of the apartment so it was just a nice day it was pretty cold but you know it was a nice walk this is a beautiful church that is nearby and um we were just like passing by it was just like it's like walking in new york is just beautiful you know you see new things every single day so pardon the gum i wasn't aware that i was chewing gum at the same time of the doing the vlog but yeah it was early in the morning and we just got out and i needed a gum but hey okay so we're just walking i was just showing you around this is around the flat iron district we live very near to that area so i was just showing you around how beautiful new york is it's just Oh my god, it's just amazing. Like every single time you walk out of the door, you just, it just takes your breath away. So I think it takes about around 20 to 25 minutes to walk to Chelsea. That, that was a nice walk in the morning. And there's a bagel place there that we were heading to. Um, we would like to see like, because the building that we might be moving in, will not have like laundry room so we'll have to see if there's like a laundromat around the area we want to see you know um is there like a usps around the area you know grocery and stuff like that you know all just like necessity so yeah it was just such a nice walk and I don't know what I was doing there, but oh, I saw opening ceremony. This is around 27 or 29th uh, at the Ace Hotel and there's opening ceremony there. You will see me walking into there because they're having a sale. So I just wanted to check it out just for a little bit. I didn't end up buying anything, but it was just fun to check out. And this is the um, post office that I was talking about. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? And this is like around five blocks from the apartment. Um, and where I live now, there's an, a post office like a block away. So this is pretty much of a compromise if I do live. Uh, decided to move here. So we checked out inside. I've been to this post office a few times and it's always, always crowded. There's always a long line. So I wasn't really excited about, you know, the possibility of having to use this usps because i do ship a lot because uh, you know with um vintage and everything so i do um use um the post office frequently it's just such a beautiful building though it's so old this is like a block away from madison square garden on 8th avenue so it's just really beautiful as you can see there's a long line so and this time we're trying to get a taxi because... Oh, we ate the bagel and I forgot to film it, of course. We're trying to get a cab because we're on the west side and we're heading to the east side to get um, Indian buffet. I know, eating again. But it was, it was planned in the day that we wanted to do that. So, and it was like only an hour. Uh, we had only an hour before the buffet, like the lunch buffet finished. So it, we decided to... let's. We, we need to get a cab to go to the east side because it could be problematic to use the subway from west to east sometimes it could be a bit difficult or it takes some time so yeah here i'm just trying to cross the street and find a cab without dying obviously <laughs> uh, there's a lot of yellow cabs decided not to do uber because you know it might be too much traffic for uber to reach me anyway and then we got it and we're getting in it's a very nice driver actually he's from nepal we had some conversation he was so nice and this is the indian buffet that i was telling you about i did not film the array of food of course and 
That's what eight. Yummy. Okay. So we just finished eating Indian buffet, and I'm stuffed to the brim. I'm not gonna recommend eating this for lunch because now I need a nap, like seriously, two-hour nap. Where are we going? No, it's Third Avenue. <laughs> we're gonna go. We're going to Bloom Hill to pick up um, a blanket that we purchased a few days ago, uh, but it was a pre-sale, so we couldn't take it home with us. Now we have to pick it up. It's about what ten blocks away. Mm -hmm. Ten blocks away. So let's burn this buffet calorie that we did. And then walk it down home. Oh my God, no! And then subway home. <laughs> Weather. Not nice, it's pretty cold, but I'm okay. No wind. I mean, it's not, yeah, it's not very windy. That is true, but it's still cold. It's 40, 40 degrees, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so we're at 49. I'm gonna walk up 10 blocks to the Moon Hills area. like marble tiles just loose one like that just one each loose one this is a vlogger problem I just want to have a background for pictures but I bought one for a shoot one time it was for a food shoot so it was so so heavy that I had to leave it on the set or I think the photographer took it home and I did not want to that them at that time and I regret now let's stop. We have the marble tiles and you can actually buy it per piece. And it's going to be $3.99 each. But I decided to just buy it later on. My husband is picking up something that he forgot from our old apartment. And my room is all the time. Island, which is across from the Upper East Side if you don't know. And I have to pick up blanket from Bloomingdale's still. So I'm going to leave this one and come back to it because it's just right next to it because I've done that way I don't have to carry the, what do you call it, the heavy marble all over Bloomingdale's and just come back to it on one piece around so that he can carry it for me. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, we're walking to Bloomingdale's right now. It's a block away from Home Depot. Just right there. Well, we're here, we might check out this 
sale that I have. I don't feel like taking off my sunglasses just because I have no makeup at all and I look like a crazy homeless person maybe. I don't know. Hey guys, I'm finally home. It's around 5.30. It's dark now and I'm in my jammies even though it's 5.30. Uh, it's winter, that's why it's dark, and um, I'm just home and watching YouTube videos and just relaxing because lunch was way, way, way too heavy and also running around. I'm a bit tired, I need half an hour of like just like doing nothing except watching YouTube, and then I will go clean up um, the apartment. And I just want to say um, thank you for watching my first vlog ever. It's a mess, I know. But I am trying to um, be better and do more vlogs in January because, you know, I live in a, such a great city at, and a lot of interesting things are happening. Not in my life because it's pretty boring. It's the same. <laughs> but maybe like around me, like even the city, you get to see what's going on and stuff like that if I'm out. So thanks for watching. I hope you like it. Um, I'm going to see you in future videos. Bye.